Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to talk to you about how to mix and match throw pillows. Throw pillows and home decor are one of my favorite things to play with because they're not very expensive but they can completely change the look of a space in my opinion. You can change a color scheme just simply by changing your throw pillows. You can change the style of a space so you could go from you know like more farmhouse French country pillows to more boho fringy tassely pillows and it's not very expensive so it's a great way to change up your space seasonally if you like to do some seasonal decor on a budget. So I think that choosing your own pillows is completely a personal style preference and you need to do you. You need to pick which pillows that you love that bring you joy and decorate with those. However, if you are looking for some guidance, I have some really simple tips and tricks I wanted to share with you today. This video is part of my simple decorating tips series where I am telling you some really simple tips and tricks that I have learned over the past on how to decorate your home simply and easily on a budget. So I will leave a link to the whole playlist for all of these videos down in that description box below. So tip number one for mixing and matching throw pillows is to start with a color scheme. So you can be inspired by really anything. You can maybe be shopping in a store and see a beautiful floral pillow with all sorts of colors that you love. Maybe you found some fabric. Um, I will leave a link in the description box below to my favorite fabric sources and you're inspired by that. You wanna buy it and you wanna make your own pillow. And again, I will leave a link to my pillow tutorial down below as well because that's a great way to uh, decorate on a budget. But you do wanna start with a color scheme so that you kind of know where you're going and how you want to tie all of your pillows together. Tip number two is use this no fail sort of recipe for combining pillows. So you can start with a organic pattern. So for example, a nice floral or some waves or dots, just soft and loose. And you can add that to a geometric pattern. So geometric is more lines. So we have stripes, we have plaids, we have trellis patterns, anything that's a little more structured looking. And then you can add that to a textured solid. So a solid works as well, just a plain solid, like a plain white pillow, a plain pink. But I do like adding in that texture, whether it's like a chenille, a velvet, a faux fur, some fringe on the edges. That's just going to kind of um, lift your pillow decorating to a whole other level. Also make sure to check out my blog, the DIYMommy.com. I'm going to write all of this down for you and then you can pin this onto your Pinterest board so that you can save it for future reference when you're shopping or making your own pillows for your decor this year. Tip number three when decorating with pillows is mix and match the scale of the patterns on your pillows. So for example, if you have a large floral pillow, you want to combine that with a smaller scale geometric pillow. Or if you have a small scale floral pillow or a small scale organic pattern pillow, you could mix that with a larger stripe or a larger plaid. Mixing and matching the scales of the patterns is going to give your look lots of interest and going to make it look professional. Tip number four is use some repetition to tie everything together. So buy a couple of the exact same pillows. You can use those on the ends of your sofa, so on either corner, and that's just going to kind of tie everything together. Or you could use one on a chair, one on the sofa. Just have a little bit of repetition so that everything looks like it belongs together. And my final tip for mixing and matching throw pillows is vary the sizes of your pillows, but keep the sizes generous. This is my opinion, but I think it usually looks pretty good. Just make sure that you're not going really much smaller than a 20 by 20 pillow. I think those just look really full and really luxurious. Anything smaller is going to look like it's lost in your sofa or your chair. So kind of stick to those larger sizes, but play around. You could do a rectangular pillow that's like say 24 inches by 12 inches. You could do a 22 or a 24 by 24 pillow on the corners of your sofa and layer a 20 inch pillow in front of it and just mix and match the sizes. You could play with round pillows, different shapes of pillows. This also adds interest to your home. So those are all my tips for mixing and matching throw pillows and how to combine them. I hope you found those helpful. Let me know what you think of my recipe with that organic plus geometric plus solid. Do you think that usually works? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY decor and lifestyle ideas. And I'll see you guys all again in the next video. Bye.